is your daily devotional. Welcome. We have uh, a look into the book of Luke today. We're looking at chapter 4 and verses 1 and 2. This is the beginning of the story of the temptation of Jesus Christ in the desert. Let's read. The Bible says, Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit in the desert, where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and at the end of them, he was hungry. Now, we're just going to stop there. The Bible says Jesus was full of the Holy Spirit after returning from the Jordan. Well, what had just happened to Jesus? And this is really important. Jesus had just been baptized by John the Baptist. So it was a very um, big experience. After that baptism, the Bible says the Holy Spirit descended like a dove uh, onto Jesus, another huge spiritual experience. And what's interesting is after this happened, and some would kind of look at, let's say that, you know, you just get baptized, and let's say you just really get on fire for God, and, you know, you're at the top of the world, and then suddenly something tragic might happen. Something crazy might happen. You might wonder, what in the world is happening, God? Well, watch this. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan, where he just went through what I discussed, and was led by the Spirit in the desert. God led him into the desert for 40 days. No food. Think about that for a second, folks. You go from way up here to suddenly all the way down there, just like that. There's an important spiritual lesson to learn in this particular situation. And that is, sometime when we get to that mountain peak spiritually, suddenly God might actually want us to quickly head all the way back down into the valley. Lots of reasons why, but I'll just give you the one big one, and that is that sometimes the mountain peak experiences can breed pride in our hearts, and when that happens, we can't be useful if we're full of pride. And so God will put us actually back down into the valley. In the valley, in the desert, that's where we're going to really be relying on God, not so much on the mountaintop. And so God orchestrated and designed this, where Jesus gets baptized, Holy Spirit descends upon him like a dove, and then the Spirit leads him into the desert experience for 40 days. The Bible says he was tempted by the devil for 40 days. Folks, he went through more in that 40-day period than any of us will ever go through in our entire lives. Imagine a constant barrage of satanic deception, a constant barrage of satanic lies coming at him. He's hungry. He's thirsty. He's tired. Um, it's hot. It's a terrible place, and he's by himself. Of course, God's with him. The Father's with him, because the Father's going to be with the Son. But the temptation was real. Why did God do this? Well, for us to understand this, and why God put Jesus through this, we have to just understand the fact that God wanted to show us that Jesus could be tempted and still yet not sin. And the Bible calls Jesus our great high priest. What that means is, is he has struggled like we struggle. He's gone through what we've gone through. He's gone through more than we'll ever go through, yet he didn't sin. He also understands our weaknesses and our failures because he didn't experience failure but he experienced the weakness of the flesh. And so we can turn to Jesus because we know he understands. He's gone through what we went through, and he went through that experience. Watch, the desert experience was at the beginning of his ministry. God will often put people through desert, valley experiences at the beginning of their ministries to test them to see what's in their heart. And if they're faithful, and he moves them forward in their ministry and gives them greater ministry as they're more and more faithful. And so, stay faithful to God. 
the mountaintops, and down low in those desert experiences. God is with you in both locations, but interestingly enough, you'll probably hear more from God when you're down low than when you're up high. Have a great day.